four acts as the Beastie Boys, The Cult, Run DMC, and Slayer. What else do we know about this elusive character? Let's check his file. I'm not a big fan of motorcycles. I think they're okay. They just think too easy to get killed. You can't have a great time when you're dead. Rick Rubin, America's most wanted record producer, was last seen driving and philosophizing in the Los Angeles area. Hold it now! This man can't be stopped. He should be considered alarming and dangerous. Check this rap sheet. Age, now 25. Embarked on a career of oral assault back in 1984 when he started up Def Jam Records, an organized rhyme cartel, out of his college dorm room at New York University. It's yours. The first record I ever made, the first rap record I ever made, was by Kilo Rock and Jazzy J. I said, hey, you know, sounds like a good idea to me, and I'm, you know, I'm all with it. It eventually became a hit on black radio about nine months after it came out. We didn't think it was going to go to the extent that it was, you know what I'm saying? I'm the type of guy who could do anything I like to do, you know, and this was simple. LL Cool J's I Need a Beat made Ruben's name on the street. He went on to consolidate his turf with such acts as Public Enemy and Run DMC. <laughs> Walk This Way was my idea. It was Rick Rubin's idea. That was the one that started off with the is at. But Rubin's biggest score was the creation and packaging of three unregenerate white rappers known as the Beastie Boys. Chicken! Their debut LP, Licensed to Ill, sold more than four million copies to innocent, impressionable American kids. Ah! I wasn't expecting any of the records I've made to sell as well as they have. But then again, that was never the intention. I think the Beastie Boys sound like the Beastie Boys pretty consistently. Can't do much to change that. And I think they sound good. He is a talented person in all directions. I mean, it's not his vision for rap that made him special when he made rap records. It was his vision for music. In 1987, Ruben went international with British hard rock offenders, The Cult. It was a lot of fun working with The Cult. I think that the, the album that we made is a fun to listen to hard rock album and I still listen to it to this day and think it's really entertaining. But now Rick Rubin has suddenly disappeared from the East Coast and has reportedly relocated to Los Angeles. Right now LA is very much a rockin' town. According to our informants, it's also the headquarters for Rubin's latest enterprise, Deaf American Records. The label is about American values and I thought that having American in the name would be cool. Deaf American is home to such dangerous acts as Danzig, Slayer, Wolfsbane, the Masters of Reality, and attack comic Andrew Dice Clay. You talking to me? <laughs> he was into shock, and he still is. Well, I'm not trying to find great new stars. I'm just being true to what I like. Coming up next from Rick Rubin, an L.A. act called The Four Horsemen, which Rubin seems to feel will make his previous groups sound like the Osmond family. Brace yourself. We'll be back in a moment with Stuart Copeland, Billy Squire, and Step Dancing, so don't go away. <laughs>